going on to all of my Sagittarius. So let's get into it, right? Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into the joint. So, all right. So, so the cards that I come up with are the Three of uh, Swords, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, all right, Justice, Page of Wands, the Death card. The devil card okay the queen of cups six of swords page of cups okay so what i'm seeing here for you is i'm seeing how a lot of you um sagittarius mm, some sort of a broken heart three of cups page of pentacles eight of pentacles Recovering from some sort of broken heart, wanting to be by yourself. Want, yeah, wanting to be by yourself. Recovering from some sort of broken heart, needing to work by yourself. Understanding that you have a lot to bring to the table. You have something to bring or offer. But for right now, you're going to be by yourselves. You know, oh yeah, um, shout outs to um Into the Mystic Ash. All right. Uh check out um Into the Mystic Ash channel, right? L a lot of good stuff over there. Um that's a person that's definitely into light sorcery, you know. <laughs> um But um, then you have the justice and the page of uh, wands. And the justice and the page of wands, right, is so you Sagittarius are moving forward. You Sagittarius are like, okay, this needed to be exactly what it is. You This needed to be exactly what it is. And that's what it is that it's going to be. You're not stressing out over it too much. <laughs> so you are stressing out about it, but you're not stressing out about it too much, which is good. You Sagittarius understand that, you know, it's not worth your health. So you, like I said, so you move forward. The death and the devil represent putting an end to, you know, leaving that behind. The devil looking at it from a perspective of this person wasn't good. This person wasn't trustworthy. The queen of uh, cups. Um, person, you, you think of this person as trying to uh, emotionally manipulate you. While you were getting to know them and while you were in a relationship with them or a potential relationship, you looked at it like this person was manipulating you. They, they used their emotions and the fact that they, you may have been walking on eggshells as some sort of way to get you to do what it is that they wanted you to do. And the devil is, is that finally a lot of you Sagittarius think of yourself as being free because it's, it's almost like this person had influence over you for a little while. And you Sagittarius was, was wondering like, he was wondering what was up with the, with the influence? How did this person get this kind of influence? Like I said, part of it was they were emotionally manipulative. They would 
make it seem like being with them was easy when it, when it wasn't. And all it is that you Sagittarius had to do was X, Y, Z. And if you did X, Y, Z, things would be so much better. But you Sagittarius didn't do that. What did you Sagittarius do? The two of you uh, ended up having a fallout where the two of you didn't necessarily really work things out. So what did you Sagittarius do? You went about your way. You went about your business. You know, you're not trying to necessarily, that's my cat. You're not trying to ruin their lives. You just don't want to be around them. The Six of Swords is you being in a situation where um, so now the Six of uh, the Six of uh, Swords represents this being a situation for you where the Six of Swords now is now about how so you're trying to see who you can get you're trying to see who you can um, hang out with the Six of Swords. I know what it looks like. The Six of Swords looks like people are shipping out when in actuality, people are really coming in. So a lot of you Sagittarius are like, okay, now that this person is gone, I'm going to go ahead and call somebody else because I, cause I already had someone else in my cell phone. So I'm going to go ahead and call them up. You Sagittarius may not have necessarily called them up. You know, but you weren't necessarily talking to them while you were speaking to this other person. But now that you're not speaking to this person anymore, and it's clear, the death, the devil, it's clear that you're not speaking to this person. You think of them as, you know, good riddance, mani uh, emotionally manipulative, untrustworthy to hang around, having a certain amount of influence to you, you're not going back to that. Page of Cups. But what are you? But what are you bringing in though? You're bringing in someone for you to just kind of deal with for the night, short term. Listen, Sagittarius, I don't necessarily suggest you do that. To be real with you, because if if you know doing that type of stuff. Especially when, you know, you're heartbroken and, you know, you're emotionally in that situation, right? No matter if you are emotional or not, but you are down in the dumps, I don't suggest you necessarily really cover that up with, with intimacy. I don't suggest that you do that. And the reason why I don't suggest that you do that is because it'll actually make it worse. There's been studies that have shown that when you out here dealing with a whole bunch of people within a given particular window, it actually causes some severe trauma to you in many different ways. Emotionally, up in the head, physically, yeah. So the thing is, is that, you know, why do you think you know, for instance, I don't go around just whomever, whenever. It's because, you know, I understand the effects of it. I really do. And a lot of times people want to also understand how to repair themselves is to slow down from doing that activity. That's that's where things got to get more, 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 and more freaky, more, 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 and more freaky. Why? Because you've desensitized it. So now you're in a situation where you've desensitized it. What happened? You've be, you come, you, you, you've become accustomed to it now. So now just from pure repetition and the, and the, and the nirvana that you felt, you want to indulge in it again and again and again. Yeah, but you don't seem to understand, though, that you're like this. You may want to watch out for a lot of short-term relationships with people. For real, though. 
that may mess you up. And if you Sagittarius are indulging in that type of interaction and behavior, I suggest that you kind of slow down from that or don't. But if you don't, whatever kind of situation comes about after that, just know it is what it is. So let's clarify the, the page of cups. So to clarify the page of cups, you have the ten of cups, the gem, the empress, the hanged man, the queen of cups, right? So this is a representation of how you Sagittarius, right? You have the ten of cups, the empress. The best thing for you to do right now, like I said, and even the cards is saying that, is to slow down. You're not really building long-term relationships. And you know that you're not building long-term relationships. You're, you're really looking to get the hookup if you catch my drift. And that's going to cause some serious trauma if you do it too many times. Well, how do you know when too many times? When you do it a lot within a given window. Well, well what's a lot? More than five times. You, you got some issues going on that you're going to have to deal with. Because that's a lot of, for instance, let's just say a week. No, let, let me give you some more grace. Let's just say a month. Ten different people in a month. It's a lot of different people. That is a lot of trauma. Different people, slightly unique personality signatures different ways of going about doing things in their own unique way, birthdays. That's a lot of different people, Sagittarius. And the thing is that the Empress, right, represents wind or air. So it represents like um, creativity, but it's facing the opposite way, which means what? Which means that you think that you're doing something that's good for you what is actually destroying you by doing that, making the situation worse. The, the thing for you to do when you're, when you're heartbroken is to not be with anybody and to directly deal with that. Don't, don't try to cover up the heartbreak by going out and laying up with a lot of people. That causes more trauma than it does good the hanged man and the queen of cups which you already got but the hanged man and the queen of cups it represents again the hanged man is very important show and prove because again it's supposed to show you that you need to get in touch with yourself because you sagittarius may be a little bit out of whack you're not in touch with yourself right now you're making a lot of of drastic decisions the cards are saying it. I don't have to say it. The cards are saying it. I don't have to make up some story. So you, you may want to be very attentive to that. The Queen of Cups, this is a situation for you where you may want to understand that. The next thing for you to do is you because to stop. Because some people are, are wanting to stay attached to you and you Sagittarius know that you're not really trying to stay attached to them like that and that will cause the situation that may not necessarily be the best thing for you let's clarify the the um okay okay so i told y'all i'm getting better i told you i'm getting better i told you you're not gonna find quality like like me i told you i'm getting better I'm already good and I'm only getting better. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, on my Moorish honor, I'm getting better. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Let's clarify the death card. Let's clarify that, right? Let's clarify that. Let's clarify the death card, right? So you have the four of pentacles, the king of cups, the strength, and the moon. 
So the Four of Pentacles is you, you Sagittarius have a lot going on for you. You shouldn't have to waste your time playing these games. That's the thing that's going to get you more sad than what you original than what I originally started reading. It's going to land you right back at square one. So I suggest to you Sagittarius to stop, slow down. Then you have the King of Cups. Deal with your own problems. Deal with your emotions. Feel how you're supposed to feel. The strength and the moon don't allow your the tough nature of Sagittarius to work against you. Thinking that you can get over one person. No, that's that's added trauma. Thinking that you can get over one person by going to the next and the next and the next. Added trauma. You need to slow down and deal with it. Because if you don't, that's adding to the collection plate of problems, piling up. So the thing is that the, the moon now represents what the moon is about. Kind of lay low for a little bit. Don't, don't go outside. Just relax. You can open a window, of course, but just relax for like a few days. Deal with it. You know, because you need to heal right now. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Um, trying to get this YouTube channel to 3,500 subscribers by the end of January. Right now, I have 3,290 subscribers. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop these videos. Peace.